the lighting is probably going to get really bad in this video. It's super sunny outside, which is crazy because this morning it was like thunder and lightning, hail, like all of it. And now it is beautiful outside. So the lighting is probably going to get crazy. But I thought today I would do a 0 to 100 transformation on my face. I've got no nails on right now because I'm about to live stream after this and um, put on my nails. But like literally I feel like this is probably one of my first videos in maybe seven years or something where I wouldn't have had my nails done at all. Like it's crazy. I washed my hair this morning um, and you can see it right now my skin is crazy. I've got pimple cream everywhere. Having no nails on. I have not had nails on for like three days because I just took them off and gave my nails a break I guess. Um, I have been like as we know from my previous videos picking my face because I've been quite anxious and uh, it's way worse when you don't have fake nails because your nails are so much sharper. And I've literally given myself like cuts on my face, like it's out of control. And I, yeah, I just don't know what to do with myself. I can't stop myself. So I'm just trying to like stay on top of my skincare. I'm going to put on my nails again. I'm going to try and just look after my appearance. I've been living in sweatpants and stuff. So I've put on a dress today. Um, I just, yeah, I don't know. I just want to like try to get in a better mindset, I guess. Because my mindset's not been the best. Currently, I'm just using this micellar water. This is by Claire Hill. And I'm just removing my pimple cream so we can begin. This morning I've just been like doing some work. I put up a new video and stuff. So I've just sat there at my computer with this pimple cream marinating on my face. Um, hoping that it'll help kind of. You can probably see like all of that. Like isn't that crazy? All down my jawline. All over my hairline. Like what do these pimples mean? You know how pimples are supposed to mean stuff? Like there? There? My diet's not been great either. Like everything's just shit. So we're gonna put on makeup today and feel much better. And I thought today we could do a makeup look that was requested by you guys. A few of you guys have requested it lately and I think Laura Lee did it. And so that's probably why people are asking me to do it. They would have seen her one. It's something like shot my stash for like my oldest makeup, full face of old makeup. And you know, usually I do my um, full face of brand new makeup, first impression. So this could be fun, a little opposite day. And I've got so much makeup, so I'm not gonna be able to guarantee I'm using the oldest. I'm gonna look through each drawer and grab what I think is the oldest, but yeah, I've got like so much. But regardless, you know, we're just gonna grab the oldest stuff that I can find and see how it'll go. So this right now, this is my Active Clearing Serum by Dermalogica. I think it's got salicylic acid in it, which helps with you know, breakouts and things, which I clearly need right now. And it's also a little bit sticky, so I quite like it before I pop on my primer and everything. I'm gonna put that on and then I'm so puffy today. <sighs> like, I don't know, I just woke up and I was puffy. I've already given my face a little massage, but I'm gonna take my nurse Jamie and just beat my face with this. Oh, it's so nice and cold. And just try to like drain some of that excess fluid out of my face. Cause yeah, it just gets so puffy. And this just feels amazing. This is worth the money, 100%. Like, I love it. I even like it under my eyes because it's cold. And it looks rough. It's not, though. Like, it's really not dragging or anything. So I just, like, beat under my eyes. And it just helps to deep puff because it's so cold as well. You can even go, like, over your eyelid. It's just so nice. Like, it just feels amazing. And especially if you like me and grind your teeth. It's like a little massage. All right, now let's put on a nice hydrating primer. By the way, this dress is in my latest um, PR haul. Not PR haul, clothing haul. My brain's fried. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Okay, um, so my oldest primer, right? I wanted to use this one, which actually is very old. My Jouer Salicylic Acid one, anti-blemish matte primer. Let's have a look in here. Like, surely there's something even older than that. Yes, I've got my friggin' pajamas snapped, exposed. I was trying to act like I dressed up today. I mean, to be honest, it's probably this one. Or would it be my Flawless? I feel like it'd be one of these. Let's go with this one. I feel like this has been in my collection for the longest time and I do love it. Um, And I completely forgot about it. I forgot I even owned this. This video is going to be fun. So this is, whoa, <laughs> it's all separated. One moment. Oh God, I'm really excited for this. This primer, I feel like I've had it in my collection for maybe four or five years. And I'm excited to see if it still works. So this is the Manuka Doctor Epi Refined Flawless Perfection for High Definition with Manuka Honey Primer. It's tinted, oh yeah, it still smells amazing. I remember the scent of this one. This feels so hydrating. Oh yeah. Oh my God, that feels so good. Let's go. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this video. I have some new favorites that are already in my collection. Thank you. 
and it's going to be a bit different like I mean you know I do declutters often like constantly often so like I often get rid of really old stuff don't I but like we'll just do what we have okay like I'll just use the oldest of each category whether that's super old or not it's just gonna be what it is that made my skin look incredible that still works really well and this is no shit been in my collection for years so I'm pretty stoked um, it's just supposed to like help even out your skin tone and give you that moisturizing kind of feel it's kind of balmy like it almost like fills in your pores a little bit and it just makes your skin look beautiful like I don't know if you can see because of the shit lighting but it really just smooths I'm excited perhaps I should put my lights on in front of me and just see if that helps to yeah I feel like that's a bit better I'll do a bit more detail okay next up let's do just around the eyebrows because I just want to carve these out I haven't got my eyebrows done in ages because of lockdown and they are looking crazy I can't wait to get my eyebrows done next time like when I can. Honestly, all of my concealers are low-key new. I mean, this is probably like, technically this is a new tube, but you know, it's the oldest concealer in my collection in terms of like, I've been using this since the longest time previously. Why can't I talk? I don't know. Because all of my others are fairly new. I decluttered them. So it's like my Colourpop, my Too Faced, my CoverGirl, my Nabla, my new like hourglass ones you know like they were all new so let's just go in with this this is super old I barely use it to be honest and it used to be my holy grail um it's the radiant creamy concealer by NARS so I'm gonna draw this around my eyebrows to shape them you know it's like a good thing though like I'm glad that I have this problem with some categories trust me some categories I'm gonna have like years 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 old stuff but you know like I'm proud of myself for being able to be so cutthroat with my makeup because I never used to be like I used to be a hoarder so like the fact that I can just part with makeup so easily makes me very happy. Like this problem is a good problem because it's not healthy for beauty gurus to have so much makeup. And I always will have a lot because it's just my job, you know, like it's my job and it's my job to test out the new stuff. I can't just have a small makeup bag full of stuff and that's it. Like my job would be irrelevant. No one would watch my videos because... It would just have no diversity, like my whole channel would have no diversity in terms of like the products I used and everything. But, you know, I do get rid of stuff. I'm proud of myself, you know. This is the most useless yarn ever, or whatever. Some of you guys would get what I mean. Other people will be like, Shannon, dub TF, shut up. I get it. I'm just smoothing this out. I love this concealer. Always will, probably. I mean, is it my favorite anymore? Probably not. But it's like just one of those staples, you know, like no matter how, hold on, this is too bright. It's just always good, you know, you can always go back to it, it's just safe. It's a safe bet. I feel like a lot of people like this concealer too, like if you've never tried it and you're looking for a new concealer, it's one of those ones that's just a staple and I mean, they've never discontinued it, so that's a good sign, right? Like, it obviously still sells really well. It's crazy in the makeup world, like, how everything is just temporary. Like, it goes to say a lot about, like, consumers with makeup. Like, you're always wanting new stuff. Like, you don't want to just repurchase the same thing over and over again for the most part. Like, I guess you have staples where you will. Maybe your foundation, your skincare and stuff. But, like, when it comes to color cosmetics, like, lipsticks and eyeshadows and stuff, like, no one ever really wants to repurchase things, do they? They always want to try new things. Quite interesting. I'm probably not going to really have a super old foundation either. But let's have a look and see what we have. Now, I'm not even sure if these are my oldest foundations, but they must be one of them. Because a lot of the foundations that I have kept through my declutters are, like, brand new ranges um, or products that I have used recently. So... And we're going to use these today. This is the Infallible 24 Hour Matte Mattifying Foundation by L'Oreal. And I have the shades Radiant Beige and Vanilla. So I don't know quite what shade I'm going to be. I do have a bit of fake tan on, but you know what? This shade might be good. 22 Radiant Beige. And I have wet my sponge. And I just wash my sponge in between every single use with my um, solid brush cleaner by Exo Beauty. Just so that it does not, you know transfer bacteria around because I'm breaking out at the moment. My god, look at that concealer on my eyebrows. It's like quite dark. I might have to use a different concealer in my eyes. No, nope, don't worry. I won't cheat. So I'm just blending this out. This is like a full coverage kind of foundation. It's actually beautiful. I don't know why I don't use this. Hopefully everything I'm using today is still available and if it's not, YOLO. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Like this is just more of like entertainment, you know? You can recreate the look that I create today using other products if you actually like the look. But other than that, like, I know some of these are definitely still available. Oh my god, they look so much better. And yeah, it's getting cloudy outside, kind of. <laughs> so the lighting's going to be a bit better temporarily until the sun comes out again. Honestly, though, what is up with all these, like, pimples in my hairline? They're so painful as well. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what's
what's happening. This looks stunning. It's very matte, but it doesn't look like dry and cakey. Like it's a nice matte. I really like it. It'd have to be one of my favorite matte finishes if I went for a matte. Like yeah, it just looks really smooth and beautiful. I'm gonna have to like put this down my neck too because my neck is pale AF. The sun, the sun ladies and gentlemen, it's back. Back again, guess who's back? I'm just building it up a little bit over my red areas and where I've got like a lot of little marks at the moment. Oh, I just feel so insecure about my skin right now. It's not fun. And the worst part is it's like all my fault. <laughs> like, I know why it's happening. I know why it's bad. Like it's my own fault. Like, and I just won't stop, I don't know. So that is that. It looks so nice, so flawless, so even. Um, doesn't emphasize my pores, the primer. <laughs> So good. Such a nice base for that foundation. Like it just all looks smooth. Smooth is the keyword right now. I do have this little concealer here, the Lightful Spot Concealer with SPF by MAC. It's really cool because it's got this like plastic applicator so you can wipe it down before you um, put it back into the tube. And it's got like treatment in it, you know, like I'm pretty sure from memory. <laughs> this is quite old in my collection too. So we're just going to roll with it. I'm just going to use my cellar water and wipe off the applicator and then I can put it straight back in so I don't contaminate everything. I'm also going to use a little bit of the concealer just around the red parts of my skin um, and a little bit just on my nose and of course underneath the eye area. Do you know why I might mix it with a really old product? My Pixi Correcting Concentrate in Peach. So I'm going to blend out under my eyes first so I'm just going to actually apply this directly to my sponge and just mix these together. Like, ideally you'd put this on first, but I forgot. So we're just doing it this way. And that looks stunning under the eye. I need to use this corrector more often because I do have very dull under eyes, quite dark under eyes, and it does make a huge difference. And that concealer over my nose just looks so good, holy. Okay, I really do need to get back into my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, that's bomb. Everything just then looks stunning. Look under my eyes, like, it looks so smooth. Hopefully you guys can see in the lighting. And then I'm just tapping over these breakouts. It is a little bit light, this concealer. So I might just go over one more time with a little bit of foundation just to blend it all. The oldest powder in my collection is definitely my Wonder Powders by Makeup Store. I've had these since like 2014 or so. They are in the shades Sahara and Gobi. These are stunning, but I usually use it as like a booster because this one's quite bronze. And this one I usually use like under my eyes as like a like highlighter. So I'm gonna attempt to mix them together. This could end real bad, real quick. And it gives you almost like a shiny finish. Like, let me show you. I'm just gonna buff a really light layer across my face. It's gonna look stunning, don't get me wrong. It's like shiny. Got no fake tan on my hands and on my body I have a little bit and this is just a lot right now. Like I'm a mess, I'm a hot mess. I'm gonna apply a little bit of the lighter color alone under my eyes. I don't know if you can see the finish. It's stunning though, but yeah. Actually, because it's on the matte foundation, it looks pretty nice. You know what? I'm happy with this choice. But what I am gonna do is bring it down onto my neck and a little bit on my chest, just so that everything looks even because my fake tan's a little bit patchy. Oh, that looks so nice. And that powder still looks so good, like even though it's so old, like it's clearly like still working just as it should. And I think you still can get it, it's just in like a different packaging these days. I have to say I look a little bit muddy because I've mixed two colors together. It wasn't ideal. But it is what it is. This is supposed to be kind of a challenge, I suppose. But yeah, can you see the finish of my skin? Like, amazing. So pretty. I'm definitely a bit... Is that too dark? I don't know. I don't know. That was difficult. That was, yeah, that was confusing. I'll just have to go easy on the bronzer today. To be honest, this is probably my oldest contour from my Charlotte Tilbury Little Contour Kit that I've had for yonks and yonks. So let's go ahead and pop this under the cheekbones. Like, I basically use my... Tarte contour kit, my MAC contour kit, Revolution. Those are like my go-tos I would say. I don't reach for this one very much and this is definitely older than all of those other ones I just talked about just then. So, you know. Oh, it's stunning though, look. Like I'm still trying to look pretty using my old makeup. This is probably expired also, but it still works. So, you know, getting my monies out of it. I should use this more. I love the highlighter in this one too. I'm gonna go in with a little fluffy brush and attempt to Slightly contour my nose. I'm gonna bring it down here. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Oh, I put on way too much, look. Looks like I just rubbed my nose in dirt. 
Cute, cute look. Oldest bronzer though. Once again, new bronzer, but oldest in my collection, like repurchased. Nas Laguna, of course. So let's pop on a little bit of this too. Just around my temples and also around my forehead. My forehead. Do you say forehead or forehead? I feel like forehead's something my nana would say. And then blending it out. I feel like my face is oxidizing. Cute. Putting it straight down my nose. And you know what? We're gonna take some on my big powder brush. We're gonna brush some just over my chest and shoulders to attempt to make everything look like they're in the same color group. On camera it doesn't look too bad because it's really bright but like in real life. Woo! It's definitely um yeah. <laughs> yeah. The oldest blush would have to be Milani Luminoso. Surely. This is ancient. I've had this in my collection for so long. I feel like I've got fluff stuck on my nose. Anyway, so I'm going to take my shimmer tulip brush and just apply some of this to my cheeks. We're going full shimmer today because that um, powder was quite shimmery and this is very shimmery. It's almost like a highlighter, like highlighting blush, you know? Like you wouldn't use it as a highlighter, but you put it on your cheeks and it gives you a little bit of a highlight where the light would hit you. And I'm building it up. I feel like this is quite old and it's lost a little bit of its pigment. So I'm having to use quite a bit, but we shall get there. They look stunning though, the color still. Flushed, beautiful, fresh. I just popped on some lip balm because I'm feeling dry today. Now for highlighter, I'm just gonna go all in and we're just gonna finish on the eye makeup. This is weird. Usually I do like base, eyes, and then back to like shading and contouring and highlighting and everything but I'm just in, in a mood for base I guess because like I'm having a bit of an insecure skin day I just wanted to cover it up <laughs> you know most of my highlighters are like newer you know like I did get rid of most of my old ones like it would have been before my declutter it would have been Mary Lou by the balm honestly I feel like this one's probably one of my oldest ones and I love it I haven't used it in yonks I've not used this and I can't even tell you I've probably not touched this stick in a couple of years but I used to talk about this all the time. I'm gonna warm it up with my finger because it works so good on your fingers. And I love this one because you can use it on top of powders and it like still blends, do you know what I mean? So this is called the What's Up by Benefit. I'm pretty sure you can still get it. Um, and it's just so stunning, like the color. I wish they'd do another one of these, but like more golden. This is like a champagne-y candle that kind of glow. So I'm just tapping it where I want it. And look at it. I definitely recommend this. That's why it's stayed in my collection for so, so long. And I'm really happy I'm trying it again today because yeah, I've just not reached for it in the longest time. Can we just appreciate that color difference? And can we appreciate my little like child hands? I don't even feel like myself. Like I can't wait to stick on my freaking nails later. I just use those um stick on trashy ones or tra trashy. I'm gonna take a little bit. Holy crap. Okay, the lighting keeps changing and now I'm like, I feel like I'm still oxidizing. Like, I feel like I haven't stopped. I don't know what that is. Maybe like, cause the products are so old. <laughs> it's just like getting darker and darker and darker. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe it was so bright before that I didn't realize that the color was not right. I don't know. <laughs> but here we are. I'm gonna just tap a little bit kind of on top of the eyebrow where I like to glow. That's cute. I love putting highlighter on my chin. And yeah, I'm gonna have to wear like a turtleneck soon so that no one sees how off this all is. <laughs> and if we had to do a little bit of powder on top, like literally most of my highlight is on you. So it would probably be this one by MAC. Definitely defined, let's just set it. You don't need to, because it's so blinding on its own, but you know what, we're going dramatic today apparently. I feel like a clown, a shiny tin foil clown. Hopefully once I do my eyebrows and makeup and everything, like eye makeup, it'll all come together, because right now this feels weird. <laughs> okay, brows? Most of my brow stuff's new too. This is a fail. But I wanted to do it for you guys, but yeah, I don't know how successful this is. I mean, it's still my oldest makeup. It's just that some of it isn't really old. Like my oldest brow powder is my only one. To be fair, I got this exact one when this line launched. When did I go to Vegas with Benefit? Was it like 2015 or 16? I don't know, but I've had this for yeah, four or five years. Whenever it was launched, it's the exact same one. Like this is the only one I've ever had and it's still going strong. So technically it's my oldest, even though I use it all the time still, I guess it just shows like how good it is. And then the oldest brow gel I have in my collection right now, technically it's Gimme Brow, but let's switch it up. This is also like, this has been in my collection for years as well. I'm pretty sure like 
years, maybe a couple of years. I'm orange right now. Anyways, the Tint My Brow by Australis. So whatever, we'll just go for it. So I'm just gonna use the powder to fill in the tails. I feel like this video is gonna get much better once we start the eye makeup because I'm gonna have some kind of like ridiculously old eyeshadow palette in there, I can guarantee it. This palette is just like the best. I'm pretty sure they've like even discontinued this. So like I refuse to get rid of mine because it's my favorite. They've bought out like a bigger palette with the same formula which I think I do have somewhere. I think it's in my travel makeup bag. But yeah, I just love this one, like the little duo. So this color is in the shade light brown. I feel like Hamish may have like grabbed this for me when we did our boyfriend buys my makeup challenge like ages ago. Yeah, like I said, technically it would be Gimme Brow. That's still in my collection. It's in Utah, you know, like I've repurchased it a million times, got scented a million times. But I just thought I'd switch it up. This is actually really nice. I forget how good this is. It's just not too clumpy. It's like really liquidy. Just defines everything without looking like crazy. It's nice. I'm pleased with those eyebrows. At least one thing on my face looks good. I mean, it looks good. It's just a lot. It's just so much. I look like an Oompa I reckon it was probably the powder. Like custom mixing my own powder color was not the goods today. It just, no, nah. <laughs> the oldest eye primer in my drawer. Actually, no, that's a lie. It'll be painterly, surely. This is like ancient and dried up. Look at this. So actually, that's gonna get thrown away. And we're gonna do Stay Stray by Benefit, which is this dried up as well. That's, yep, that's that's gone too. All right, next one. The next one would be Smashbox Lip Primer in Light. Let's try this one. Okay, there we go. These used to be my favorites, like all three of these, but especially at the Smashbox and at the Benefit. So let's see if it's still good or if I need to throw this away. Nowadays I use my P. Louise, you guys know that. I'm just spreading it out with my concealer brush. It's spreading out so beautifully. Can you still get this? I wonder if you can or can't, I don't know. It was my favorite for ages because it just really helps to conceal everything and I have very troublesome eyelids, like a million veins on them. If you watch my videos, you already know. It's just really nice to help like even everything out before my eyeshadow. It's a little bit hard to blend in some spots. So it's probably starting to dry out. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. It's been in my collection for yonks. And to be honest, I could probably get rid of it at this point because all I really use is my P. Louise base. My oldest eyeshadow palette is probably the Inglot, but I do have another one in mind that's a bit more exciting. Oh my goodness. Maybe I'll do a little combination of both. Actual throwback. <laughs> like I'm wearing a soft pink pretty dress with these pretty earrings and I'm like, I shouldn't really be doing like neon makeup right now. So these are Inglot eyeshadows. I've had these in my collection. I don't know why some are missing. I've had these in my collection for, I can't even tell you. I don't even know. So, so, so long. Like, I feel like since like eye mats, like throwback eye mats. Holy crap. I'm not even sure if you can get them anymore, but regardless, I'm gonna mix together 335 and 357, these two. We're not gonna do anything too revolutionary today. I'm just going to apply that over the lid and blend that through the crease. And I think I'll just do a very simple like bright lower lash line or something with the electric palette. Yeah. This eye primer also needs to go because it is crusty. Like blending my eyeshadows on top of it, it's quite dry. It dried down real quick. Like it went on, okay. And then yeah, it's just dried and it's like cakey. Do you know what I mean? Whereas it used to like kind of stay wet so that you blend on top of it and it would be nice and smooth and like grip the product. This time it's just like making it harder to blend, not easier. So if my show looks patchy, we all know why. Plus the eyeshadows are ancient, so I'm sure they're not going on as nice as they should be either. I remember being so excited to get this palette and I'm pretty sure the girl like that sold it to me watched my videos and gave me like a discount as well. And I was so excited. And I was like, oh my God, which color should I get? And I spent like two hours trying to pick like what I wanted. Throwback. This color looks quite similar to um, Terracotta from my Shin Inkso palette. Like the kind of color I love. So, duh. No wonder I chose this one. Well, I'm mixing two colors together. One's like cooler and one's warmer and it's giving me like the perfect Terracotta shade. It's just a bit patchy, but I'm getting there. By the way, this brush is called a Tulip Crease Brush and it is amazing and so soft. Makes so beauty. And then I'm gonna go in with a fluffier brush and just go over the edges. Oh, they're lighting so much nicer right now. Like you can actually see everything, see? 
I feel like when the sun's out, like technically I should love it because it's like, it makes me look perfect, but that's not what I look like in real life. Like this is much more realistic. Like, I mean, I still look quite flawless. Like the base is so smooth and amazing. Like it's the wrong color, but you know, like the actual texture of my skin right now, like is bomb. Okay. Like under my eyes, like look at here, there's no pores. I look airbrushed, but like before it's just like extreme. Like the sun just makes me look like I've just put a big filter on my videos that looks like too perfect and I don't want people to think I actually look like that. This is much more realistic. I want to show you like what the makeup really looks like, you know. I'll see the sun's starting to come out now. Like I want you to experience kind of what it looks like IRL. Do the products actually smooth? Do they actually show texture, you know, like all these different things and that's why lighting is important. But sometimes the world just doesn't agree with me and it just is against me. And that's all I'm going to say about it. Now, I don't think I've ever used this colour in my life. So let's try it. This is called Slow Burn. I don't even think you can get this palette anymore, to be honest. I'm going to use a crease detail brush. Crease this. Just underneath, I guess. Like this. I'm not going to go all the way in. I'm going to go to, like, there. So there's just a little gap, and I'm going to highlight that area instead. This colour is amazing. At least it still goes on nicely. Do you remember how, like excited everyone was for the electric palette back in the day because no one did anything bright this was like revolutionary now you look at this and you honestly are just like eh. like it's not that bright anymore there's so many palettes now like the M -M -M mitchell palette and the james charles palette you know like that actually have a jillion neons this is like meh it's so funny how like things change this palette's quite nostalgic for me and i think that's why i've never got rid of it because i do have colors just like this in other newer palettes I really need to part with it. I need to like just let it go one day. You know what? I might cut my crease a little bit, but I am just going to use my normal base because the other one is really hard to work with. Because it's so old. So old. This is my P. Louise base. I'm just going to go like that far. Not too far because I do want it to look relatively simple. I'm going to go in with the same color in the very inner part. Slow burn. My head burns like slowly sliding off my head look. Wow. And then on the other part, I'm going to take this shade Savage, which is the hot pink, because I feel like it's the only color that will look good with what I'm wearing right now. Yeah, the pigment's kind of getting lost on this color. Like, it picks up on my brush okay, but um, it used to be way more vivid. It's just losing pigmentation because it's old. So I'll just layer it up and maybe use my finger even, now that I've got no nails on, to try and like press on it. It's so patchy. Even to the touch, like on my finger, it's so dry. Like the powder itself feels like crusty. It's like chalk. Like it feels like chalk. And it's giving me the shivers. I'm just like continuously building these up. I'm kind of losing the cut crease effect because I'm having to go over so many times. But whatever. This would look so cool if the colours were cooperating. I might just intensify some of the um, brown shades on the outer corner. Alright now, um, just underneath I'm going to take maybe just like this bone kind of colour which is called 351. I don't know if these colors are still available or not because they are so old. That's not even doing anything. I'm going to take my highlighter instead because I feel like it's going to be way more successful on that inner corner area. Now, it's still not as bright as I would like, but I mean, it's better than nothing. A little bit on the brow bone. Honestly, both of these eye palettes probably need to go, but We'll do it in the declutter. There's a declutter coming. All right, so next up is eyesh no, eyeliner. <laughs> I just did eyeshadow. The oldest is new, but this is the oldest in my collection that I've wrecked for the longest time. So this is Schwing by The Balm. Brand new tube, but yeah, I used to use this all the time. It was my holy grail. So I'm gonna do a wing. I'll do this off camera quickly, actually, because it's stressful. I feel like I... Used to love this so much, but my preferences have changed a little bit, like, in applicator. This one's, like, a kind of foamy applicator. I almost prefer pens a little bit more these days. This one, it was just really hard to apply. Like, I was struggling to get it nice and even. I used to be born with this applicator. It could just be down to practice. The colour is so black. It is so matte. It does bleed a little bit. So, all in all, like, I feel like I do have other ones these days which I like more. So I'm kind of glad that this video made me pick this up and, you know, put it on again. Because maybe nostalgia made me think differently. I thought, you know, I'd keep it because it was my favourite back in the day. But I feel like, yeah, I think I've changed a little bit. I feel like my preferences are a bit different. I'm going to pop on mascara and um, lashes. I don't really have anything old, so 
we'll just kind of skip that part. All right, the lashes are drying. I used Roller Lash Mascara and Opulence Lashes by Lily Lashes, so we'll just leave them there to do their thing. And then I will squeeze them together shortly. Um, lips, okay, this one should be fun. We're gonna find a very old lip combo. It would be impossible for me to tell you what's the oldest, but we'll just do something old. I've picked Fashion Police by Chi Chi. There's a reason. Chi Chi was the very first bright lipstick I ever bought that was like not like a light bright color like Saint Germain or something. It's a dark hot pinky kind of color so I thought it'd be kind of fun to use this today because it is the oldest. Yeah this is a newer tube. My old old one I threw out because it was purchased in like 2013, 2012, something like that. I don't have a lip pencil that's old that's matching so I'm just going to use Holly by um, Exo Beauty, which is like the most amazing pink color. I never use this to be fair, and I need to, because look at it. I'd be happy just wearing this lip pencil alone. Like, it's so nice. I'm just clamping to give up. The false lashes with my real lashes using my lash tweezer. Making sure they feel real comfy. Oh my god. Sorry, but I'm obsessed with this lip color. Okay. I put it a little bit on my lips, and then I'm taking Fashion Police by Chi Chi. My most OG oldest bright lipstick, like bold bright lipstick, not light bright, darker bright, because I never used to wear any dark lipsticks. How good does that match? It's like it was meant to be. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh, I need to wear this more often. See that makeup turned out so fun. I feel like if we used products I loved, it would have been even nicer and cleaner. The eyeliner was just so thick and out of control because I couldn't control the applicator, to be honest. Like, I'm just so not used to it anymore. The eyeshadows, like, kind of work, but the pigmentation is not as ideal. The lip color, I'm just obsessed with. Let me zoom you in. The base products are all amazing. Like, granted, the color was a bit off. I mean, it kind of came together now that everything else is on my face as well. Brows I love. The, um, I was going to say the lashes I love, but I mean, duh, yeah. I feel like it's just the eyeshadow and the primer and then the colouring of my base. They got a little bit out of control. The eyeliner is probably the worst. Like, that really just kind of mucked up how everything was looking. Just like going over with a different eyeliner, covering up the glue. Yeah, I actually love the look though, in general. Like, I think it's so fun. I love all the colours I use. I love how it kind of matches. And it still looks quite cute with like my earrings and my dress even though the sun is like popping up and you can barely see anything. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for requesting this as a bit of fun. Um, I definitely need to go through and get rid of some of those very old eyeshadow palettes. And I held on to them for so long because of nostalgia reasons and because I was like, oh, I might reach for them one day. But this has just kind of reminded me that, you know, like makeup does have an expiry and the quality is just not there really anymore. So I do need to part with some of those palettes that I've just been holding on to for a long time. And you guys know me, I'm really good with decluttering, but there's just a few light palettes that I've kept kind of for nostalgia reasons. So yeah, when we get to decluttering my eyeshadow palettes, we will do that together and actually get rid of a lot of those ones. I've just put them back in my drawer for now so that we can declutter them together later, even though I could just do it now, but... You know, my hair's feeling so nice. I did a um, hair mask, so it's like uber shiny, but I kind of need to style it because it's just going all over the show. But whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you've got any more requests like this, feel free to pop them down in the comments because I do read through. And even if like one person requests something, often I'll still like add it to my little list. So don't feel like it's not worth mentioning because I could still do it. Obviously, I like to do stuff that gets requested a lot first, but I'm just saying like, I still will do most things. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.